All right, you guys, it's time for the very final declutter. And honestly, I'm glad because these videos <laughs> take so long to film and edit. But we are on to lip products. Now, I am promising myself here that I will not swatch every single product in this drawer. I cannot do it. I will not. I cannot. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start. So I have lipsticks over here, lip liners, and then lip gloss products here. I think we'll start with lip glosses over here. Let's get into it. I'm just going to start grabbing things. So first up, I have two of these from Westman Atelier. These are the squeaky clean lip balms. Yes, they're lip balms, but they come in this fancy little package. I have two of these. I am going to swatch this one because I love these. So I have this shade Nana, which is like a light creamy kind of beigey color. And then I also have, I think it's Dodo, I think. It could be Doo Doo, but I think it's Dodo. That's more of like a just a baby doll pink. But these are so just thick and creamy, moisturizing. They're a little bit glossy. They're very luxurious, obviously. And do you need to spend this kind of money on a lip balm? No, you do not. But I've been into Westman Atelier lately and I love these. So those are definite keeps. Okay, I have a bunch of the Fenty gloss balms. We'll probably find another one in a minute, but I love these. These are definitely staying. This is one of my favorite lip glosses of all time. I have Fussy, which I love. It's just like a classic kind of rosy pink. And then I have Sweet Mouth, which is like a lighter pink. Love both of those. I have two more somewhere that well, I guess we'll find eventually. I have a few of the Patrick, oh, I have three of them. I have a few of the Patrick Ta Major Plump lip glosses. I have, let's see, two CCs, Superficial and Full Syringe. Honestly, the one I like the most out of these are the Full Syringe, the red one. So it's kind of, I'm gonna swatch this one. It's, it's red, but on your lips, it's just, gives a very subtle, just barely red kind of tint. And it's just so pretty. I love these, but especially this color. These do kind of smell like cinnamon, which I know some people don't love. I actually like the smell of these, but I have three of those and I will keep them. Oh, here's another little baby Fenty and Fenty Glow. That's more of like a nude gloss. That's a little baby one, but I love that. One of the new Merit Lip Jellies, I think. I will say I was more into this when I first got it. And the last few times I've used it, I feel like it's like pH adjusting, which I don't, I didn't remember it being a pH adjusting product, but the last few times I've used it, this one has turned like really, really pink on me. This is the shade Le Doux. Um, so I'm going to keep it. It's pretty new to me, but I kind of wish it wasn't the pH adjusting. On me, pH products typically turn like neon pink, which is not always my favorite thing. But anyway, we're going to keep it. I have two of the NYX Lip Drip Fat Oils. I love these. I use this one the most, which is Mist Call, but I recently got follow back which is more it's kind of a brownie nude color I haven't even used this one yet so I'm not sure how I feel about it but I actually love this lip formula from NYX they're not sticky they're not as not as glossy I would say as some lip oils can be but I really like them I enjoy them they're not sticky so those will definitely stay. I have a few of these lifter glosses. I love these. These are great. So I have silk, which is more of like a true rosy pink. And then I have topaz. Topaz, I really like. It kind of reminds me of Fenty Glow from Fenty. 
Um, but these are just two really good neutral shades that I definitely want to keep. I have two Persona glosses. I have the shade Honey and the shade Toffee. I definitely use Honey more. It's more of like a it's a nude, but it's a little bit brown, but not like super, super brown. Toffee is a little bit more red, which I don't use a lot. I always kind of go for honey when I use it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter toffee and I will keep honey. Okay, I see another Fenty. This is just the clear one in glass slipper. It's just a nice clear gloss, so I will keep that one. All right, then we have all of the Rare Beauty lip oils. Oh no, there's two over here. All right, so I went crazy and bought all of these before they launched or when they launched. Looking back now, I probably would not have done that, mainly because I'm just not the biggest fan of this formula it's okay um these are pretty new though so i don't want to get rid of them just yet but like this is actually one of my favorite shades honesty it's a nude more brown than i usually go but i like that one this is just not what i was thinking it was going to be they're very i think they're more of a dry lip products they start out a little bit glossy but then they definitely do kind of fade away and they leave a stain on your lips which some people like some people don't um I don't hate it but it's it's definitely not my favorite lip formula this is shade joy which this color is really pretty especially for this time of year I need to use this for a video or something but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and keep them for now but uh, they're definitely not my favorite lip formula. Okay, definitely we'll be keeping these, the N Beauty lip oils. This is probably my favorite lip oil out of all of them, even over the Dior, which I have a few of, but these, 10 out of 10. They smell amazing. They smell kind of like, smells kind of like candy to me, but like the best candy smell I've ever smelled. They are glossy, which I personally really like. I prefer more of a glossy lip oil. They're not sticky. I have two. I have candy apple, which is more, it's kind of a reddish lip oil. Kind of looks like mahogany from Dior. It's more of like a, I guess more of like a mauve -y color, but it's not super pigmented at all. And then this one is just like a really light pink which is mystery but I love those we'll definitely keep lawless forget the filler I, this is not my favorite to be honest it's a little bit too like goopy to me it's very thick and I don't know it's almost like the consistency of Pepto-Bismol I know that sounds really weird to say but that's kind of what this reminds me of when I use it and yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm not a huge fan of this formula. The Patrick Ta Gloss in She's an Influencer. This I will definitely keep. This is different than the other Patrick Ta Glosses. This one is not plumping. I would say a little bit of a thinner formula. This one has like, it's a light pink with a little bit of like a golden pink shimmer in it. It's really pretty. As a topper, I like to top lipsticks with this sometimes. So we will keep that. Then I have a Nude Sticks lip gloss. This is, they call them Lip Glace. Um, the shade is Labati. Lab Labati? I don't know how you say it. It's like a light pink. I'm not a huge fan of this formula. It's kind of sticky, a little bit on the thick side. I never, ever want to use this. I don't see myself wanting to, so I'm gonna declutter that. Okay, this gloss is the Hourglass Sublime Gloss in the shade Unreal. So these were really big on YouTube there for a little while. And this is like the prettiest color. Look at that. It's the prettiest pink, like a just a perfect nudie pink. But this is super old. So I think I'm going to declutter it. I know I've had it for... 
I, I've had it, I want to say I've had it since the beginning of my YouTube channel or close to it. So I'm going to get rid of that. I have this Tom Ford gloss in the shade Impulse. This I bought a while ago at the um, cosmetics company store. And this is just like a light pink. I don't use this gloss very much. This is another one that's pretty, but it's a little bit on the sticky side for me, like a little bit goopy. I'm going to declutter. I never use it. I never use it, and it's old too, so that's going to go. All right, and then I have my Tom Ford lipsticks back here. I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these, but this is shade pink, or no, blush nude. This shade is so pretty. It's kind of hard to get in stock. It's usually out of stock, but it's just like a really light pinky nude. Love that one though. That will definitely be staying. Um, let's see. Blush Honey from Tom Ford. I am going to swatch these because I kind of need to see it. That one's a little bit more nude, not as pinky. I'm definitely going to keep that one. This is a little mini red one that I got as a free gift. It's actually a really pretty red, so I will keep that. Number two, Nudite, Nudite I think is how you say it. I actually don't remember this color at all. I'm pretty sure I got this from a cosmetics company store one time also. I'm going to declutter that one. I don't think I'm going to use it. And then this is the Lamont shade. I think this was from like a specific collection that he did. This one is much more pink. Um, so that's it there. I'm going to keep that one. Oh, there's one more in here. This is one of the newer... NARS glosses in Turkish Delight. It's just like a really light pink gloss. I like it. It's not plumping or anything. I don't wear this on its own. I typically will top something like a lip liner or a lipstick with this because it's pretty light, but I do like it. That one I do want to keep. Moving over this way. I am definitely going to declutter this. This e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine. Okay, this is the shade joyful. I got this out to use this not that long ago and it smells terrible. Like I don't think it's gone bad. I don't think that's what the smell is. I think it just had a bad smell to begin with. It smells like it was trying to be a little bit fruity, but something else is happening with it. I don't know. I can't, st it smells terrible. Like I couldn't stand to even put it near my mouth. So that is definitely going to go. Another lifter gloss. This is the ice color. It's just a really light pink. I like this a lot. Very similar to the Dior Lip Maximizer in 001. This is similar. It just doesn't have the plumping quality that the Dior one does, but I do like it. I will keep that. Oh, this is a City Beauty plumping lip gloss in pink nude. This is really, really pretty. So this is um, one of the, or it's the same formula as the clear city lips that I love and use all the time. I need to get this out and use this, but look how pretty it's like a, just a really light nude. These from this formula in general, the lip products from City Beauty are really good. So I will keep that. I have a House Labs lip oil. This is nice. This is the shade Tint. It's just like a light pink. This is fine. Honestly, I prefer though the NYX lip oil over this and I definitely prefer the N Beauty Project over this, but I don't dislike it, so I will keep it. I have two of the Makeup by Mario. I always forget what these were called. Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Colors. So I know a lot of people did not like these. I have Soft Blush and Soft Nude. I like them. Um, I definitely use the other Moisture Glow serums much more than these. These are more... I don't even really know how to describe this. They're kind of like a lip cream but really, really thin. Like that's blush pink. No, soft blush. Really, really pretty. I like them. I've heard a lot of people say something about they like separate on their lips. I haven't had an issue with that. So 
I don't know about all that, but I do enjoy these. However, I do use these that we'll get to in a little bit more. But I am going to keep those. I have a mini NARS lip gloss in Dolce Vita. And actually, this is the mini version of this in Turkish Delight. But they do not make this gloss in the full size in this color. I got this in a holiday set. And you can't even get this in the full size, which makes me sad because this in Dolce Vita is such a pretty shade. But you can't get it for some reason. But obviously I will keep that. I have two of the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Glosses. I will also be keeping these. I have Coconuts About You and Let's Get Physical. Honestly, they don't look that different on my lips from each other, but I like this formula. I would say, I mean, I think it's pretty similar to the NYX lip oil. This one, I think, is a little bit thinner of a formula. More glossy, which makes sense because they actually call this a gloss. Um, but I like these. Definitely want to keep. This is a lip gloss from Revlon in the shade Supernatural. This is highly underrated in my collection, to be honest. I need to use this more. Look at this color. I think it's part of the Super Lustrous line, I want to say, but such a pretty pinky nude gloss. We'll definitely be keeping. I have two glosses from Pat McGrath. I have Love Potion, which is a light pink with some shimmer in it. And then I have Flesh Fantasy, which is my favorite. Yet another pinky nude gloss. You will definitely see what colors I gravitate towards when you watch this video. But I like these a lot from Pat McGrath. Definitely want to keep those. The Huda Beauty Silk Balm in Rose Quartz. Um, I think I'm going to declutter this. It's okay. It's just like a light pink with a little bit of a shimmer in it. Um, but it's, I never reach for this one. I never think to use this over the other lip products that I have. It's okay. It's nothing special. I'm going to declutter. The Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil in Only You. This one I want to keep. This is a nice formula actually from Ilya. It's super thin and watery, but you get quite a bit of color with it. This is a light pink. I want to keep that. Um, this Givenchy Perfecto Liquid Balm in 001. So this is an example of something I should not have gotten because I know that I don't really like pH adjusting things, yet I bought this anyway <laughs> this and it turns pretty pink on me these were like very popular there for a little while i just don't know if i'm gonna use that i'm gonna put that in the maybes because i don't i don't know about that um these charlotte tilbury i forget what these are called they're the plumping glosses this one is in pillow talk i like this fine it's not like a favorite lip gloss formula for me we're going to put that in the maybes. Also, the Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm in the shade Ingenuity. These are nice. I haven't used this one lately, though. So pretty, though. I love that color. I'm going to keep this from Bare Minerals. I have two of the Fawn Beauty Lip Oils. I have a Nude and a Moment. So these are by... Katie Fawn. She is like a beauty influencer on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Fawn Beauty is her brand. These are really, really, really thin lip oils, like lip oil gloss hybrids. I really like them though. They're really nice on the lips. I like both of these colors, so I will keep those. And then this one kills me. I love this gloss. The NARS original lip gloss before they repackaged and redid the formula in Chelsea Girls. So this is one of my favorite colors ever in a lip gloss. I know this one, I think the new formula 
comes in Chelsea Girls, I think. This one still smells okay. I'm gonna keep it for now. I don't, if it doesn't smell weird, then I'm keeping it. All right, moving over this way. I am gonna declutter this. Uh, this is the Sephora Sheer Matte Lip Balm. This is actually pretty new. These haven't even been out for that long. I'm not a huge fan of this formula. They are very like, I don't know, almost like a velvety finish that I don't love. And I actually don't really like this pink either. It's a little bit too, it's a little bit too cool tone for me. A little bit like a purpley pink. I wasn't super crazy about it. So that one I will declutter. Then I have a few of the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balms. I have Camellia, which is a light pink, and then Petal, which is more of a um, rosy pink. I really like these. This is a great lip balm formula you can get at Target. I assume you can still get them at Target. That's where I got these, um, but they're nice. They have a little bit of color, not a ton, um, and they're good. I like them. We'll keep those. I have two of these mini Rare Beauty lip souffles. One is Inspire, which is the red one. I like this one. This is a really nice red. I don't wear that a ton, but I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna declutter this. I think I got this for free with a Sephora order one time. It's the shade Fearless. It's like a kind of like a darker plummy purple. I just I don't think. I'm gonna use that, and I don't really use these lip souffle type products very often. So I'm gonna declutter the Persona E Balm in Meditate. Okay, this I have not used in a long time. I don't even remember what it looks like. Okay, yeah, it's a nude. So yeah, now I remember these from Persona are actually, they're not super glossy balms. They're almost more of like a soft matte finish. I'm gonna hold on to that one though. I like that color. I have a Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. Love this. This is the berry shade or the berry scent. And we'll keep that. This is the LYS lipstick in Dreamer. This is pretty new to me. I haven't had this for very long. It's actually like a peachier nude, but it's really pretty. I like this formula too, so I will keep that. Um, this is the Araprez Cheek and Lip Tint. I am not crazy about this. It's a little bit difficult to work with. I find blending this in general is just kind of tough. If you don't blend it right away, it starts to dry before you can get it blended all the way. And it kind of turns, like you can kind of see there, it looks kind of reddish in here, but it actually turns like neon pink. And I'm also not huge into just tints and stains in general in my lip products. So I'm gonna declutter. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, I don't remember what these were called. They were, I don't remember. They're like lip balms with color. I want to say I wasn't crazy about this formula. This is one of those things I've just totally forgotten about because it's been hidden down here. I'm going to keep it. I have a Clinique Black Honey in here. Classic. Definitely need to keep that one. I have a few of these from Ciate London. This was a collab they did with Iris Apfel. And let's see, one of these is like a red that's kind of pretty. It's like an orangier red. This one is more of like a true nude. And then this one is hot pink. I'm definitely gonna get rid of the hot pink one because I don't use that. This is actually a nice formula. I just don't know if I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna say declutter. I feel like I'm not gonna use them. I have three of the Maybelline Vinyl Ink liquid lips um okay i'm gonna keep the red one this one is really pretty i don't wear liquid lips a lot um let me see here this is shade cheeky this one is i remember i liked it when i first like applied it but it 
I don't love, it turns a little bit too purpley. It doesn't stay like a true nude. It looks like it would be by the outside packaging, but it's more like a mauve color. I don't think I'm gonna use. And then this one is peachy. Okay, this one is more like a shade I'll use. Just a light peachy pink. So I'll keep that one. Okay, I have a little mini NARS, I forget, the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil, Dolce Vita. I love that. I got that in that little set with that lip gloss I was showing you. So we'll keep. Okay, then I have a bunch of nude sticks, lip and cheeks. So let's see. Um... I don't use any of these very often. This was the one they did with Alana Davidson in um, Send Nudes. Now this one, that's a really pretty color. Like a light peachy nude. I think I'll keep that one. But the rest of these, I just, I never use these. Posh Tay Tay. Okay, hey, Tay Tay, that's way too light. I won't use that. Um, and then Haven. Haven, that's also really light. I'm not gonna use that. Yeah, I'm gonna declutter those. I just don't I don't think I'm gonna use it. Okay. Bite. R.I.P. to bite. This is the shade Leche in one of their lip colors. Oh my gosh, it's such a good color too. I gotta keep that. Love this, the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. So you can use this like a lipstick, but you can also use it as lip liner, but this color is a great shade and lead the way. Very pretty, kind of similar to Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, just the overall tone of it. Really pretty. This is a Kat Von D lipstick in She Defined. I'm not a huge fan of these, this formula. They're okay, but kind of, I don't know, kind of drying and just not my favorite. So I'll declutter. And then the Kopari Lip Glossy in Birthday Suit. This is really pretty actually. I haven't used this in a long time, but it's a light kind of nudie gloss. I'm gonna keep that one. All right, moving right along. Then I have a ton of like these glossy lip balm type products. Okay, look how many of these I have, you guys. These are one of my favorite lip products ever, if you can't tell. The Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Lip Serums. Okay, I am not going to swatch all these. I'll swatch like two of them. Where is it? There's one. I think it's this one. Is it? I think it's Rosewood Glow. This one I use quite a bit. Kind of just a rosy pink. Love it, but I also love this nude glow one. Okay, these are the only two I'm swatching. Then we're going to move on. But this is a light nude. I don't wear it on its own typically, but I'll pair it with like a lipstick or like a darker lip liner and then just put a little bit of this on your lips. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with these. These are plumping a little bit. Um, they're a thicker formula, which some people don't love. I personally like it. It's just like thick lip gloss balm with color to me. I love them. Obviously, I will keep all of those. I have three of the Tarte. Uh oh, the sticker's coming off this one. The Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. I have Peachy Beige, Primrose, and White Peach. These are very similar to the Makeup by Mario. My favorite of these by far is Primrose. Just the perfect pink. Love them so much. Definitely will keep. I have a Dior Lip Glow in Rosewood in here. This is just like the lip balm version of the Dior lip products. It's just a light rosy pink. I will keep. I have a NARS Afterglow Balm in Orgasm. Okay, I love this, but I mean, this thing is old. I'm gonna declutter, not because I don't like it, but just because I know it's been here a while. Um, oh, this is one of the Fenty 
I forget what these were called, but they're kind of similar to the Makeup by Mario moisture glows, but this was the shade Makeout Break, which I loved. It's like a light pinky nude, a little bit more, a little less pink, I guess. I really like this though. I, forgot, I kind of forgot about that actually. I'm gonna keep that. I have a few of these L'Oreal, uh, I forget what they're called, but the Glow Balm type products. I have Nude Heaven, which is my favorite. I've talked about this one before. It's like just a really pretty rosy pink. I'm gonna keep that one. I also have this one, which is one of the plumping colors. It's called Coconut Plump. It's just like a lighter nude. We'll keep that one. And then this one is Beige Eden. I feel like it's kind of similar to Nude Heaven. I'm gonna declutter that one. Keep Nude Heaven. This is a Wet n Wild Balm in Soft and Juicy. Okay, I'm gonna declutter this. This is, I thought it was gonna be like the Makeup by Mario and it is a little bit, but this one has a lot of like shimmer in it. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Then I have a bunch of these uh, Lustrous Glass Lip Shines from Revlon. These are kind of hard to find now. My favorite is this one. I've, uh oh. Oh no, this one's kind of exploded. This is Nude Illuminator, all time favorite. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This one is just a very similar type of product. It's kind of like a lip balm, but it has a good bit of pigment. My gosh, this one's my favorite and it's like exploded. That one is a keep. I need to, you could get them on Amazon there for a while. I don't really know if you still can, but. Hopefully you can. Sparkling Honey is like more of a brown. I, don't know, I never use that color though. This one in Glaring Coral. It's kind of a, like a reddish coral. Then this one's glossed up on rose. There's like a pink. All right, that one is way too pink. I'm definitely gonna declutter that one. Rum Raisin, I think, is kind of similar to Black Honey from Clinique. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Rum Raisin. I'm gonna get rid of that corally one. I just I don't think I'm gonna use that color. Okay, just a few more things. I have on Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in here. I love, I will keep Patrick Ta Lip Mask. This is, oh, this is a really nice one, actually. I kind of forgot I had it. Similar texture to the Laneige, but I love it. I will keep it. The Laneige, oh, this was from like a set a year or two ago. Oh yeah, this one actually doesn't smell that good. It, I think it was gingerbread. Yeah, it doesn't smell very good, actually. I'm gonna declutter that one. And the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. I like I will keep it um, let's see I have a few of the Dior lip oils I have rosewood pink oh no two of them are Dior rosewood the pink and then this is Sigma I forgot about this this is the Sigma lip oil these are nice um, very similar applicator to those NYX lip oils Nothing super special about it, but I do like it, so I will keep it. I use lip oils quite a bit. And then two of the Dior ones, Rosewood and Pink. These are nice, but I can't tell you I think they're worth the money, to be honest. I have two of them, but I like those In Beauty Project ones more than these, and they are definitely much less. So FYI, but I will keep those. <clears throat> Okay, I have two of, I don't know why I have two of these. The Kosas Wet Lip Oil in Unzipped. I don't know why, but I have two of this exact same shade. This is like a light pink. I definitely don't need two of them. I'm gonna keep one and get rid of the other. 
Okay, these are also lip oils. This is by, I forget what the name of this brand was. I, these were sent to me. I can't think of the name of the brand off the top of my head, but they are lip oils. I wanna say these are from Bobel, maybe. Is that right, Bobel? I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna use them. So I'm gonna declutter. I have a Catrice Glossy Lip Oil. This is just like a light pink. This was, okay, I bought this a while ago for a Catrice video that I did, but I, I'm not gonna use it. I, the lip oils from the drugstore I like the most are these from NYX or the CoverGirl ones. So I'm gonna declutter that. And then back here, we just have some random clear glosses. So the Dibs Clear Gloss, I'll keep. Buxom Plump Shots, like a plumper for your lips, I'll keep. Summer Fridays Vanilla Beige Balm, I'll keep. This is a Chanel little clear lip balm. I'll keep. Road Lip Balm, a lip exfoliator from e.l.f., and then a little CeraVe Healing Ointment. I will keep those. All right, moving on to lip liners. All right, I'm gonna try to go through these quick. For the most part, I, I probably won't get rid of too many lip liners, I don't think, but we'll just see. Um, Peekaboo Neutral, really good. Pinky Nude, very similar to Pillow Talk. Charlotte Tilbury, we will keep that. I have a MAC Strip Down. We'll keep that. I'm gonna get rid of this one from e.l.f. I'm not a huge fan of this color. I guess it's not a bad color. I was thinking, last time I used this, I didn't really love it that much. It's like one of the triangle lip liners. I'm gonna declutter that though. Um. Oh, love this one. Maybelline, totally toffee. One of the retractable, oh yes, this color. So good. We'll keep that. Ooh, this one's in the wrong spot, but that's Urban Decay in the shade Liar. Right there, kind of a kind of a mauvey pink color. We'll keep that. Essence lip pencil and my choice. Okay, I think this one, yeah. This one's like a really lighter pink. Not a huge fan of this formula. I like the retractable ones from Essence that we'll get to in a minute. Like here's one. Soft Beige from Essence. These eight hour matte lip liners are so, so good. These are the best from Essence by far. This one is super light. So I would probably use that with something else, like a darker color, but I will keep it. Another Essence in Cinnamon Spice. This one is more of like a brown, but I love this formula, so I will keep it. Um, nude Beige from NYX, that's like a classic kind of contouring lip color. I will get rid of this, Morphe Lip Liner in Makeup Talk. I don't love the Morphe formula, and I just, I never reach for this. It's kind of a strange color too. So I'm gonna declutter that. NYX Nude Truffle. Okay, another really good kind of contouring lip shade. Definitely keep it. NYX Line Loud Lip Liner in Global Citizen. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one really needs to be sharpened. This, my hand is kind of wet because I just wiped it off, but this is such a pretty nude. I love this. This this line in general from NYX is really good, the lip liners. So that is definitely staying. ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. Such a good classic nude. Um, okay, this is a Wet n Wild lip liner in Brandywine. Okay, I saw somebody using this. And now I can't remember who it was. Um, I don't even really like that color though. Okay, that's gonna go. NYX in beige. Okay, this might be one that can go. This color is pretty, like the shade is pretty, but it has a little bit of almost like more of a metallic finish that I don't really like in a lip liner, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, this color I don't think I love as much, the Line Loud and Born to Hustle. Yeah, this is, that's too pink. 
I won't use that. That can go. The CoverGirl Simply Ageless Lip Liner in Elegant Nude. That's so interesting to me that that's called nude. And to me, that is very, very just pink. I'm not going to use that, I don't think. LA Girl Ultimate oh, Auto Lip Liner in Nonstop Nude. Okay, that's a pretty color. I'm going to keep that one. Um, this is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner. NYX has so many different lip formulas. This one is in the shade Natural. Ooh, that's a good color. Keep that one. ColourPop Rudolph Lip Liner. Don't ask me why I even still have this. You can't even get this anymore, but this is such a good color. Such a natural on my lip color tone. I can't get rid of it, even though you can't get it. I really like the color, so I'm gonna keep it. All right, that's it for drugstore lip liners. All right, moving along to high-end lip liners. Okay, I'm really protective of my high-end lip liners, so don't expect me to declutter a lot here. Okay, one size lip snatcher in out of line. This is a good color, just a typical, like nothing special, but I like the formula, okay? It's just a nice wooden lip liner, we'll keep it. Urban Decay 1993, okay, love, this is such a good color, it's like, a little bit brown, a little bit like mauve -y. That's a really good one. I'll keep Persona Rosewood. These are also really nice. I have not used this lip liner lately. That's a nice kind of deeper brown. These lip liners remind me of ColourPop lip liners, which I also like. But I'm gonna keep Persona. I have a few Pat McGrath. Lip liners. I have contour, done, undone, and structure. I'm only going to swatch structure because structure is my favorite. This is probably my favorite lip liner of all time if I had to pick one. The color is very, very, very similar to my natural lip color, just like a shade or two darker. And these Pat McGrath liners I just love. They're creamy, but not too creamy. They last well. I love them. So those are all staying. Kevin Aquan in Minimal. This is another great color. Kind of similar to Structure, a little bit more rosy. No one talks about these though from Kevin Aquan. They have the little brush on one end also. So keep that. I have tons and tons and tons of Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not getting rid of my Charlotte Tilburys, but I have Super Size Me, Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk two, which I think is personally very slept on. I love Pillow Talk 2. I actually like Pillow Talk 2 more than original Pillow Talk, which I'll swatch next to it. So there's a big difference. Pillow Talk original is much more like a true pink. Pillow Talk 2 is more rosy, which is what I like. Keeping those. Dibs lip liner in, let's see, I don't remember. I know this was oh, like the first shade, I wanna say, but I don't remember the name. So the pink side is there, and then the lip definer is on the other side, so you like contour your lip with this. I'll keep that. KKW, I'm gonna declutter. You can't get it anymore. Um, Sephora Collection in Creme de la Creme. All right, this is a really nice formula. It's like a gel-like formula. I feel like I don't love this color. I feel like every time I use this color, I'm not crazy about it. I'm not really sure what it is. I don't know. Every time I use this shade, though, I know I don't really love it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Patrick Ta in She's Proud. This is a really nice one. I actually like his liner. They're like angled liners. Oh, yeah. That's a good color. Keeping Tower 28 One Liner in Work of Art. A really good kind of mid-toned nude. Love Rare Beauty Lip Liner in Worthy. Oh yes, that color. So good. Keep. All right, I have a few Makeup by Mario's. I have Almond, Tan, Toasty. I actually think I have four. I have a fourth one somewhere. 
Um, I love these though. I would love to, honestly, I feel like I want all of these. Like I love this one. It's a little bit darker, but it's really pretty. That's toasty. Then we have almond. Almond is actually probably like almond the best. And then tan, oops. These also have the brush on one end, which is nice. Ooh, yeah, so see, all those are good. Keep all of those. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this, the Kosas Hot Liner. Okay, I think if you guys remember, when these came out, there was like something going around that there was a bad batch of them or something, and like they're super hard to, to get color payoff. Like, I mean, I'm like pressing as hard as I can to get that level of pigment. I don't know, it's like they're super dry or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna declutter that one. Another KKW Beauty. I love those, but I'm gonna declutter because you can't get it. Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Liner in Dusty Rose. This is a good one. Super creamy. I don't hear anyone talk about these, but these from Tarte are very good. We'll keep it. Another um, lip cheat. Oh, this is a good shade in Love Trap. One of the most underrated Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, in my opinion. That might even be my favorite one, honestly. In Love Trap. A mini makeup by Mario in Smoky Pink. This was one of the do, or this was from one of his holiday duos. That's a really good color. Keep it. Another KKW RIP. I wish they would bring that back. Huda Beauty Honey Beige Lip Contour. Keep it. Iconic Nude. Charlotte Tilbury. Keep. Anastasia Deep Taupe. Oh, this is a really good one. Kind of a cooler toned, deeper nude. Keep it. Hot Gossip, another Charlotte Tilbury. And then I think this is the brand that sent me those lip oils I couldn't think of the name of. Yeah, it's Bobol. It's their lip contour wand. Yeah, I kind of remember this now. So it's like almost like a little Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand, but for your lips, I'm gonna keep that. All right, you guys, that is it for lip liner. All right, you guys, believe it or not, all we have left is lipsticks, which are over there. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna get rid of. I don't have a ton of lipstick. I'm not a huge lipstick person, really. I'm much more of like a gloss and a lip liner person, but let's get into it. I'm trying to like readjust myself because sitting on the floor is really difficult after a while. Okay. This is an obvious keep, e.l.f. Um, Ofe Satin Lipstick in Dirty Talk. Almost identical, in my opinion, to Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. This is also just a great formula. I mean, it's super opaque, very comfortable on your lips, though. Love these from e.l.f., so that is a definite stay. Urban Decay Lipstick in the shade Oat Milk. I think I bought this during an Ulta. 21 days of beauty. This is not one I can use on its own. It's too light. I would kind of have to pair it with something, but it is a pretty shade. So we'll keep that. A mini Makeup by Mario lipstick in Erin. That, this came with that little mini lip liner I showed you earlier. So we'll keep that. I like his lipsticks as well. Okay, I have three, I don't know why these are over here. Three Dior Lip Maximizers. Freaking love this lip gloss. Probably my favorite still of all time lip gloss if I had to pick one. I have 001, beige, and I think this one is sparkling nude maybe. But I use just the classic pink one the most. Plumping, glossy, just, I love them. I love those so much, so those will stay. This is a Pat McGrath lip balm. I think these might have been limited edition. Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine in Nude Venus. I really like this. I feel like this formula was not super popular from her. 
It's just, it's not really a lipstick. It's more of a balmy texture. It's more hydrating, but I do like it. We'll keep that. I have two Rare Beauty lipsticks. I have Worthy and Creative. I'm gonna keep both of these. Creative is more peachy, and then Worthy is more of like a true rosy pink. Yeah, both really pretty though. We'll definitely keep both of those. All right, then I have two from Lawless. I have Platinum and Wedding Day. These are super light pink and nude. Um, I was into this for a while, like this really light lip color kind of thing, but I have a few that are newer to me that are the same kind of colors. These are pretty old. I've had these for a few years. I just don't think I'm gonna use those anymore. So we'll get rid of those. Uh, all right, I have all of these BK Beauty lipsticks back here. I'm definitely gonna keep all of these. Um, these are their newer ones and their originals. I'm not gonna swipe. I'm not gonna swatch all of them. But I mean, they're, this is a great formula. Very interesting, super pigmented and very opaque, but they're also very comfortable on the lips. Sometimes formulas like this I find can be a little bit drying. These are not, these are so, so nice. Even the packaging, I mean, very heavy, really great overall product. This is the one I just swatched is Acceptance, which is right there. That's one of my favorites. And then let's see, there's another one. Oh, this is one of the newer shades that I freaking love. You need to use this in a video, but it's the shade Empower. And it's just the perfect orangey red. That color, I need to do a video and like focus the whole makeup look on this color. That is so pretty. Again, that's the shade Empower. But honestly, any of their colors are pretty and the packaging is amazing. The formula is great. Those will all be staying. A YSL Rouge Volupte, I think is how you say this. This is number 44. Another definite keep. This is right up my alley in terms of the formula. This is the kind I like. I like something kind of sheer, but I like to have a little bit of color. This one is, this is an interesting color. It's a nude pink, but a little bit cooler in tone than some of my others. Love this and also just, I love the packaging on these two. So that will stay. All right, I have this from, is this Maybelline? I think it is, in the shade Baddest Beige. I think this formula is discontinued. I saw somebody on TikTok using this. It might've been Alex Earl actually. And I had to go like hunt it down. It's a pretty color, it's just hard to find. I'm gonna keep that for now. Uh, Milani, what are these? I think these are called Lip Fetish lipsticks maybe. This is the shade Secret. I like this formula, but yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. I was gonna say no, I'm not gonna keep it. Um, Age Perfect Lipstick in Subtle Primrose. This is really pretty, but very, very old. Kind of a purpley pink, almost like a magenta pink. That's super old though. I'm gonna declutter that one. All right, then I have this one and this kills me every time. So this is L'Oreal and this was, this is so old you guys. L'Oreal did a collection years ago. I don't know how long it's been now, but it was a long time ago and they were like celebrity nudes. And this was the JLo one, it was Jennifer's nude. And it's just a really light pink, sheer, kind of glossy nude. And I'm telling you, I love it. I mean, it still smells all right, so I'm keeping it. You can't get it, but I love that one. I'm keeping it. This is an Essence lipstick in Freaky. This color is not my favorite. Ever. I feel like I used this in an Essence Catrice video one time. Yeah, a little too pink. I don't think I'm gonna use that. We're gonna declutter. This is an Armani Power lip i think is what it's called this is another really light pink nude kind of like a beige almost i would not wear this alone but 
This is pretty paired with other things, so I'll keep that. I have a Sephora collection lipstick. This is one of the Zodiac collections, and I'm a Virgo, so this is the Virgo lipstick. Oh, it's pretty. I kind of forgot. Mm, I'm going to declutter. Love this one. This is not going anywhere. NARS Dolce Vita lipstick. One of my favorites in my collection. And this formula from NARS is also that kind of sheer balmy texture that I love. So those will stay. I have two of the Bare Minerals Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick. So I have the shade Grace and the shade Memory there. All right, Memory. That's definitely going to go. I don't think I'm going to use that. I don't think I'm going to use this one either, to be honest. I'm trying to be realistic with these lipsticks because unless I like really love it, I just do not wear lipstick. I don't know. I just don't. I have this one from Kosas in Rosewater. I think these were just reformulated, actually. So this is obviously not the reformulated version. Yeah, I'm going to declutter. Merit Lipstick in Baby. This is a definite keep. I really like this formula. This one's more... I think they describe this as like a neutral pink. I don't... I guess it is kind of neutral. I was going to say I thought it leaned more cool toned, but I guess it is just a neutral pink. But this one I do like that. I will keep. All right. I have Gucci Lipstick in... Call it a day. This was from the most recent Sephora sale, a very bougie purchase that I made, but of course it's again one of the sheer shiny lip formulas. And I mean, look how pretty. So I will keep that. Then I have a Victoria Beckham lipstick in Girl. I like this okay. It's not my favorite color ever. I think it's kind of an odd shade. It's nude, but it's a little bit more on the peachy, like brown side almost, but that's pretty new to me. I will keep that one. Then we have all my MAC ones and my Charlotte Tilbury left. So I have MAC Blankety. That one is pretty when I swatch it. I feel like that's another one though that can kind of go purple almost. Might get rid of blankety. I'm gonna put blankety in the maybes. I'll go back to it in a second. Then we have Lady Danger Classic Red. I'm gonna keep Lady Danger. Um, oh, this is another good one. This is the cream sheen, cream in your coffee. This is really pretty for fall. It's a little bit deeper than I normally do, but it's a really pretty color. That one I'll definitely keep. Cream Cup. I think I got this. Where did I get this? TJ Maxx one time, I think. Very light pink. I'm not going to use that color, I don't think. That can go. Um, Honey Love. Okay, Honey Love is classic nude. Love that one. Uh, Modesty. This is probably my favorite MAC lipstick. So that's Modesty right there. I love that one. That one will stay. And then these ones, these were two limited edition ones that they did with Sam and Nick Chapman. They're UK-based makeup artists. Gosh, these are really old, but I really want to keep them. You can't get these shades anymore. They were limited edition, but I'm keeping those. And we are on to the final little section over here, which is Charlotte Tilbury. Again, I may not get rid of any of these. And I'm not going to swatch them all, but I will swatch my absolute favorites just to show you. Favorite? I have two, I guess. This one I love so much. It's very Victoria from Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like it doesn't look like it would be... Something I would love just looking at it, like when you see it in the bullet. But this color, you guys, oh my gosh. It is just 
I don't know. It's kind of rosy like pillow talk, but this one is just has a bit more like brown in it, just slightly. I don't know, but I love it. And then this is my other favorite. This has been a favorite for so long. It's JK Magic. This was part of the Hot Lips collection. This one's a little bit peachier. These are my two favorites if I had to pick. So those will stay. Um, okay, I have classic pillow talk. Keeping, um, oh, this one is also really good. Supermodel. You can definitely tell what kind of shades I like. Supermodel, kind of similar to um, Mary Victoria, but Supermodel is just a little bit darker. Glowing Gen. This is another really pretty one. Nude Romance. This was like a limited edition group that she did. Yeah, oh, that's a pretty color too. I'm forgetting about some of these. Um, Kim KW, obviously a classic light nude. Yes, Honey is also a light nude, but it's a little bit peachier, browner. Bitch Perfect. It's a little bit more of a peachy pink. Nude Kate, another really light one. This one's more of like a true nude. I would not wear that on its own, but mixed with something. That's pretty. Pillow Top 2 lipstick, another highly underrated shade, in my opinion. And Dance Floor Princess, which is more... This is another good one, actually. This one's similar to JK Magic, just more pink, not as peach. All right, you guys. All right, there were three things I was unsure about. This Charlotte Tilbury gloss in Pillow Talk. That one I'm gonna keep. MAC lipstick in Blankety. I don't, I feel like I don't love this color on me. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I think I'm gonna get rid of this too. It pains me, but I just, I shouldn't have bought this. I should not. I knew I didn't like pH adjusting things, yet here I am with this Givenchy of all things <laughs> lip balm. No, we'll keep that one. We'll keep that one. Okay, that is everything, you guys. Now, I'm going to have to put everything away as I've been doing. I may try to reorganize this a little bit. I don't love this drawer, to be honest. I don't really... I have too many of these, and I don't need them, really, because I have... I don't have very many lipsticks, and they're kind of too big for lip glosses. I don't know. I don't love this drawer, so... Anyway, I'm going to try and put everything away and that will be it for this declutter. Mm -hmm.